Hey y'all Check this out right This is crazy yo This is crazy for real yo And that's That's just the crazy shit about it I ain't do nothing Here check it out Check it out I'm at the shipper right Out here in Yuma, Arizona I'm parked at the dock, 24. Now, mind you, we got five pickups. So, we pick up one in Coachella, pick up another one out here in Yuma. We got four pickups out in Yuma. So, we get one out here in Yuma, we check in at another one, check in over here. Everybody backed up, told us to wait. Fine. So these dudes over here was like, all right, go ahead and back in the 24. Mind you, when we backed in the 24, there was already two trucks, so we backed in, backed in fine. Two trucks, they left. We still there. They left, no problem. Tell me why this dude and this old-ass Freightliner, this fake-ass owner-operator, the 2000 Freightliner at that, some, this, this, this old raggedy shit, he come to door 25. He try to back up in the door 25. Now, mind you, I done got a truck when it went on the dock to see what the hell going on, see if they gonna load us or not or whatever. They in there spinning around with their damn um, forklifts and shit. I come back out, he's starting to dock in there. I can't get in the driver door because he's too close. So I'm trying to look at him like, yo, what, you know, what, what, what you doing? He ain't paying me no mind. I go to the passenger door, because I can't get into the drive, to, to the driver door. I felt the truck, woo I felt the truck, woo I'm like, so, wait a minute, are they loading us? And he started to pull out. I said, no, no, man, hell no. I walk around the truck, stick my head around the truck, Motherfucker done crunch my door. Crunch my trailer door. Crunched it. Now mind you, I got two loads in there already. Two loads. This nigga crunched my door. And he pull all the way up. He get out. He know he crunched the door. I wake my co driver up, slash train. I'm like, yo, we got a problem, man. Hey, what's up? I said, man, this dude crunched the door, man. He crushed the door. He get up. He furious, too. Come out. Look at the joint. I'm like, I will show y'all the damage, but it's, not... it's too loud over there. I can't, I can't really. I don't want to lose my job because it's not even my fault. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to put too much red tape in this shit. But, you know not my fault. I didn't do nothing. I'm parked at the dock, chilling, parked, ready for, waiting for the, and I done been at the dock damn near two hours, hour and a half, waiting on them to load. Waiting on them to load. And they wouldn't even load. So he come, they crunch the damn door up. We get his information, insurance, and all of that, but you know what I'm saying? Mind you, I, could, I can't make it home for Thanksgiving. I'm trying to make it home as quick as possible, get these loads, and go. We're supposed to be on the road right now, heading east, heading back home. You know what I'm saying? I done missed Thanksgiving. Now I'm going to be extra late past Thanksgiving. And, you know, the wheels ain't turning. You ain't earning. So I'm just sitting here, idle time, not getting paid, not doing nothing, wasting time. You know, when I came to this, this, this to this industry, man, I said, you know, I want to do reefer. I heard reefer got the most mouths in the industry, so that's what it's about. Let me do that. But reefer is a, it's a headache, man. You gotta wait. That's one thing about reefer. Your ass is gonna wait. And it's sad that we had to wait an hour, two hours to get loaded. If we wasn't waiting that hour, two hours, they would have loaded us ASAP. We'd have been up out of here, and I would have never ran into this. I mean, you know, not run into him, but you know what I'm saying? He would have never, we would have never crossed paths. Basically what I'm saying.
said, we just never crossed paths. I've been loaded, gone. Gone. You knew we was coming. Where the fuck y'all behind? This shit crazy, man. So now, being that we in Arizona, and being that the nature of the, the accident, they not sending nobody to come fix the trailer because they not going to spend the money. It's not our fault. It's not the driver's fault. It's not the company's fault. They ain't going to spend their dollars. They going to put that shit right on that dude's insurance to have them come fix the trailer. But this is bullshit. So they moved us from 24 over here to 9. Let's chill out it over there. To keep the product cool and shit. You know what I'm saying? But um, we got to wait for another dude to bring an empty trailer so we can transfer all of the load over to that empty trailer. And hopefully get going down up the road. I don't know what they did with the other loads. I don't know if they gave them away or whatever. But I'm like, I'm ready to go home now. This shit's getting stressful. It's getting upsetting. You know, I don't mind this shit out here. You know, if I was in a different situation where I was a trucker that lived on the road, it, I would have no issues. But I, I'm not a trucker who lived on the road. You know what I'm saying? Who lived on the road? I got family at home. And I'm trying to get to them. You know what I'm saying? Holiday season. I'm missing the holiday, but it's still the holiday season. I mean, get over there. It's a little, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I just want to put that out there, man. This reefer shit, you you going to wait. You going to wait in this reefer shit, man. And accidents do happen, man. You ain't got to do nothing. If I would have stayed on the dock 10 more minutes, I wouldn't even been at, in the truck. And he would have crushed my fucking door. You know what I'm saying? But he needed the load, so that's why he didn't run away. But I was outside anyway, so. I'm saying I got everything. License, plate number, his fucking company number, DOT, US DOT number, the fucking insurance and all of that. Because ain't no way y'all gonna pin this on me and put this on my damn DAC report or driver safe report or whatever. That, that it, it ain't on me. You know what I'm saying? This is a non preventable accident. You know? That shit crazy, man. I'll let you boys, man. I'm this living a new life, 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 life,